Hey guys, it's Miss Marissa. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that is so cool and it's happening right now. It is, what season are we in? We're in spring, which means that the flowers start coming out and all the leaves are growing back on our trees and it starts to get super beautiful outside. So we're gonna be talking about the parts of a plant and then you guys are gonna help me grow our very own plants today. So first, what's one, you know what's one way that we can remember what season we're in and what spring means? We can say this little saying, so you're gonna get down on the ground with me, get down on the ground and you're gonna say, the flowers spring up in spring. So that's how we can remember that spring is about our flowers and everything coming back to life, right? And looking so beautiful outside. So first, before we get into our planting, we're gonna talk about the parts of a plant. So here's my beautiful picture that I drew. <laughs> and here is our plant. So at the top, we have our flower petal. So this is what attracts the animals. So all the bees and the bugs that pollinate the flowers. So this helps them pollinate and then it helps make more flowers. These little black dots, if you can see, those are our seeds that we put in the soil. They come out through this little middle part and that's what helps the flowers reproduce. Then we have this nice long green stem. The stem is what carries the water from the roots, which is buried in the soil. These are our roots. And this brown is our soil. So the roots are what soak up the water and the nutrients and they carry it through the stem. And the stem is what carries the water from the roots to these leaves. And the leaves, they soak in the light and the air to make food for the plant. So, what do, do you remember what plants need to grow? They need sun and water and they need love too. So, now we are going to get into the activity and I am gonna have, I have these little pots that I have to put seeds inside of so they can grow. And we're gonna check in on them. These are cucumbers. And we have cilantro. So I have two pots. So these are little markers that tell us what we're growing. Okay, so first what we're gonna need to do since this isn't really soft soil, we need to put some water in it and that's gonna help it get nice and soft. So I have a cup of water and we're gonna put some water in here. Oops. And it's gonna get it nice and, ooh, nice and dark. See the difference? nice and dark okay so that now turns into soil which is soft now so what we can do is put our seeds in so this is for cilantro so we're gonna put in our cilantro seeds these kind of look like little round little round balls see so we're gonna put in our seeds and we're gonna make sure that we bury them in the soil Okay, and pat them down nice and tight. So the water's already wet, so we don't really have to water it right now, but in a little bit, we'll, we're gonna check on them because it's gonna take some time for them to grow. And I will show you guys the progress and, see, and we can see if we see the parts of a plant. So if we see the stem, maybe at the end, we can maybe see if there's some roots. I know the roots are gonna help, they're gonna help the plants grow. So now we have our second pot. This is for our cucumber. Let's put some water in here. Make the soil nice and wet. Gotta move it around a little bit. Okay. Then we put our seeds in. Now look, look at these seeds. These are so cool because they are ovals. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're ovals just like the shape that we're learning about. See? These are our cucumber seeds. So we're gonna drop them inside of our soil. And remember, the next thing is to cover them up. Make sure that they're nice and tight in there. And then we're gonna put our little marker in there. So this says cucumber, and this says cilantro. So now I'm gonna have to put these by my window that's behind me. And then I will show you guys the progress of how they were growing. All right, that's it for today though, guys. But I miss you and I love you and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye.